watching come live there. Admats people come on the live. Admats people. Admats people. If you dare say yeah, yeah. Any Admats students in the building? <clears throat> this is an Admats live. Just doing a little quickie here. A little quickie. Yeah, yeah, right. Nice, nice, nice. So the AdMats cash course starts on Monday. AdMats cash course starts on Monday. But we're doing a little freebie. Right now. Um, what are going to do about you, boy? So I'm just setting up some stuff here. I really dislike this subject, Alia. But you pick the subject and you dislike the subject. Uh. Um, good evening, Anya. Hello, Shania, Amanda, Alia, Anya, Xali, no, same Alia, Anya, Odessa, Liel, Shadi, Klamala. Um, yeah, so the Matt's Cash Course live stream, it begins on Monday for those who are watching this after the live. Matt's Cash Course live stream begins on Monday. We will start at 7.30 p.m. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, we'll be doing it. Every day. Um, so you know what you have to do, you have to text that number to register. What's up? You're making hot cross buns, do burn your buns and do burn your buns. You remind me of some corn here. Eating some corn. Annika, don't burn your buns. At Matt's food, well done, Kylie. Eat your food. No, mm, say I. <laughs> like at Matt's say I, no one. <laughs> Does this come on CXC? Of course it comes on CXC. It came 2018 and 2017, and I suspect. We'll talk about it a little more. The topic we're doing is lots. Yeah, if for those who studying about paying for the um crash course, when the banks open, then you will send it. But you're in the group already. There's a WhatsApp group for all those who join the crash course. Once you're in that group, you will get the link when I go live, so everybody will be able to join the live as well, right? So. I was forced by my parents. <laughs> Woo! Well, try and force out that tree at least or something. Uh, preferably a one. The course is for form fives only. Oh, we, anybody could join. Anybody could join once you're, once you're doing admats. I mean, if you're doing maths and you're not doing admats and you want to join an admats crash course. Uh, are you? <laughs> I have a topic to be on the paper. Uh, in a general sense, I can. Um... Yes, and yeah, and. But we're doing all those all those other topics and ideas and planning for the exam starting from Monday. Today we're just gonna do logs and logarithms. So this is what we're studying here. Creating uh linear graphs. So I just need to like move this across a little bit here so I could see people. Alright. Um, and if I minimize this, what will happen? Yeah, don't do that, don't do that. Normally I have a next screen, so I can shift this into a next screen. I don't have that right now. Just waiting for some more people to come on and then we start it. Um, this is the topic we are doing. Creating linear graphs. Well, this ad maths, right, Christopher? <laughs> this is one of the hardest topic in logs. Alright, so the ad maths live stream normally has about 40 people, so I've seen 38 viewers. So we will begin. Aye, aye, aye. Mm. Mm. 
D. Alright. So logs, creating linear graphs. Logs is one of the most useful things in maths. Logs, you actually use it. I mean, you actually use it in different jobs and stuff. Logs, differentiation, very useful. And it's a it logs. Logs could be very straightforward once you practice faith. Once you practice for your logs, your logs is very straightforward once you practice faith. So we're gonna do how to create some linear graphs. This stream will be available afterwards to the public. But once again, just reminding you all, the AdMats crash course starts on Monday. This is just a free little pop-up thing I just decided to do since one of my students asked me this question. There are two nonlinear forms. Two nonlinear forms that you can be tested on for CSEC. One looks like this, y is equal to a b to the x. So if you notice here, the variables are here and here. And these two are the constants, constants a and b, right? And the other one you can be tested on is this, where the variables are actually here and here y equal ax to the n, and the constants, you actually have a constant as one, uh, as the power, as the index there. So, these are the two nonlinear forms, and when you, when you drop some logs on that then, when you take logs on both sides, it will change into a linear form, right? And then you'll have to plot that graph. So, I hope you know how to do that, but if you don't know, that's what we're going to do right now. So, linear form, the linear form of these will look like and remember, a linear form is y equal mx plus c is the general look, as the general form for the linear thing, y equal mx plus c. And what it'll ask is to find the gradient and find the um, y-intercept, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is, the, this is the linear form. So this is how the linear form for them looks. I want to make sure my head didn't block the plus sign there. Read some comments. I hate logs on a whole. So I'm doing CXC maths. Can I still watch this video? Yeah, watch it now, man. Um, uh -huh. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> What's the inverse of log? Uh, it depends on which log you're doing. Like if it's log to base, it depends on which base. I wish I had known about this channel a long time. Hmm. You look so happy teaching right now. Finally, some admats. Yeah, it could be. It could be. It, the happiness could be um. Hey. Right. So, y equal a b x and y equal a x n. You need to memorize this, people. This is like the hardest part that could come in logs. I mean, most people know how to do real little logs, rearrange thing, find out little log equation. But the graph part in logs, um, even the top students will get some little problems in this. So, what I, I'll go through how how this how this happens. How does that happen? And how does this happen? So let's look at the first one, case one. Remember, we're going from a nonlinear form into a linear form, right? An exponential form into a linear form. Alright, so case one. If y, if the variable x is an exponent, and well, you'll always have y right here, right? you always have the, the y right here, but the variable x is an exponent. So that is what happened in case one. Normally, in this kind of setting, you'll use natural logs, but it doesn't matter. Your textbook will normally use natural logs for this because of the numbers that are used. Sometimes this b here would be e, so natural logs will come in very handy there. So um yeah. But it doesn't at the end of the day it doesn't really matter. Logs is logs. Like LG represent we normally use that to mean log to the base 10. And LN we use that to mean log, log to the base of E, where E is Euler's number 2.7. Um I can't remember that exact number. 2. Point something. Right? So how are we going to change this to this? Then how are we going to get a graph and use information from that? Yes, you are getting this for CXE. You can, well, not guaranteed, but you can get this for CXE. This is going to be an in-depth tutorial on logs, logs and graphs. Logs and graphs. This part in logs. So I'm not doing indices and stuff because I don't want to take three hours. Hopefully we're done in an hour, right? And then you can watch the stream over and over and over and over again. I think. All right. So how does this happen? How can we go from y equal a b x to that? Well, first thing first, 
you take some logs man and we are using natural log logs here which we call ln ln of a b to the power of x okay. so we take ln of both sides we take ln of or logs of both sides right now what we want to apply here is something called the product rule so ln because and let's take a little peek at the rules this is the rules here this is your product rule in logs if you have two things that are multiplying by each other you can actually separate them using the addition sign right that's once you take log of the whole two things right you can separate them using the um the addition sign that's the product rule for logs so you can just apply that here you see in two distinct things there's a a and there's a b to the power of x that's two distinct things multi being multiplied by each other. So I can now say this is ln a plus, and let me get a little nice, I'll come out here, plus, um, plus <laughs> ln of b to the x. And on the side here, I'm going to write, yo, I'm going to write what it is that, what what it is I did there? Just well, I'll just I'll just write product rule, product rule, right? Because we know what the product rule. Then what comes next? What comes next, people? Eh? What what do you do next? Take logs on both sides. Well done, Brittany. What comes next? Well, you notice that X. Liming up in the sky here, we don't really want that X, right? Yeah, well done, keyboard smash. So, you're going to have ln Y is equal to ln A. And anytime you see, you have ln of... And let's see which rule that is. Let's go. Let's go across here. You see this guy? We have X and we have a power. We could actually bring down that power and put it here before everything else. So, we have ln BX. We can actually come now and say that this is plus and since I'm using the product rule the x will come in front now not product rule sorry power rule and so that's the power rule of logs there what we call the power rule so it's pretty much in the form y equal a y equal mx plus b here you actually see in this this is the same as this up here right so we just need to rearrange it why are we going to rearrange it because you see the ln y is a variable and the x is also a variable x is also a variable all the other stuff are constants so the ln b i'm just going to bring that in front of the x now plus ln a right so the ln b here represents the m and the uh so this is in the this is in the form y equal mx plus we just put the x in capital letters plus c since i use a common x already so that's how we get into that and you will be tested on this in cxc the chances of you getting tested on this in cxc is like maybe about 80 percent this little part that i just did there that breakdown sometimes they wouldn't bring the graph like last year they didn't bring the graph but you still had to break it down so the chances are pretty high that you could get this style in the exam I am late. Please reply. Please reply for what? Studying for exam, I forget everything in advance. I don't know what this is, but cool. <laughs> all right. Um. Now we uh, what are this guy at all? Now we know that. We know that. All right. So let me move forward now. So we already proved what we wanted to prove here. We'll put this in our proper box. So that's how we went from this to that, and that technique must be practiced and must be learned. So you, you use a product rule, you use the power rule. And now we could examine how this will look in terms of a graph. So if you have a graph, notice what the graph will be. The graph will be ln y, and we'll have x here, right? That'll be a graph, ln y and x, y. Because this is in the position of the y, this is in the position of the x. So, well, x is in the position of the x, and, and this one throws off people a little bit because 
because normally a, a custom seen a little learn here too but there's no learn in this case because x x wasn't learn and end up in front of x it was learn b or something x right so you draw your line let's put in a line here let's suppose we got this line and what will happen what will happen is they'll give you points some random we'll see it in a question they'll give you points and you take you figure it out but let's let's get what what happens to this line learn b and learn a so the gradient of this line is actually learn b and you'll use two points get your x1 y1 and your x2 y2 and we'll call the gradient and the gradient will be learn b so if you learn b is equal to the gradient so b will be equal e to the power of m wherever the gradient was like if you get two for the gradient e to the power e to two right um that's that and learn a this was the constant that represents c so that's the y intercept this is the part that collects the most marks when you do this question. Hopefully we good there. Sorry, I have a little sign us. So do you live for pure maths? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you do life for pure maths? Yes, sir. Mm, thinking about. So everybody good here? Everybody following? Seeing the viewers reach up to 50, 50 people following here at Maths Life. Well done. If you write your done in, in LN, you have to do your written in LN. Yeah. So, like, if you take LUN, if you take LUN, LN, you need to stay in LN, eh? Don't go and switch between LUG and LN and stuff. And, like, especially when you're working out the value of B, that little tricky little part there, which is not that tricky, but a little fine part there, stay in one base. You can't say, like, in LN and then you go to LG. And normally the question will hint on what to go to. How I get the line? No, I just draw this line. I'm gonna do a question now and you'll see how you get how I get the line. I just draw this line. So just this is just a random line here. I'm doing maths of CXC and I don't know what's going on. This is at maths. So if you're doing maths and you're watching this, you might get a little hotter. I never see LN before. Really? Big man. Well, you don't need to worry. Log, you can have log to the base 3, log to the base 4, log to the base anything. But the most common logs that we use is LG, which is short for log to the base 10, and LN, which is short for log to the base E. E is just a special number, just like E, right? E, um, right, e. right. So E is just a special number, just like pi. Oh, pi 3.14 something 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 he is just a special number um uh, special concept so let me move forward now because i'm gonna say only this is case two you all remember case two we had y equal a to the xn case one what was case one we had y equal a b to the x and the x was up in the sky and when the x in the sky you don't get learn x you just get x all right so let's see what will happen when we start to take logs on this I equal a x n so you take logs and this time I'll use logs a x n and what I should write here is actually I should actually write here taking logs hey I don't write the straight line so um, I'm actually writing here taking logs Trying to keep me in the picture, eh, boy. Oh, they want to see my handsome face. All right, taking logs, taking logs, and next up, you're going to use the same product rule again because you have a by x n. You see, you have two things being multiplied by each other. A being multiplied by x n. Eh? So you're going to use the product rule and split that up using the positive sign. So this is now log a plus log of xn right x to the power of n and here i would say this is the product rule and just for those who came in late remember the product rule looks like this this is an example of the product rule in your book you might actually have you might actually have log of a b they may use a and b some textbooks use a and b 
I can't remember what it have in the um um what I'm trying to say formula sheet. So we reach here now. So next up you're gonna use the same power rule again. Same power rule log y equal log a plus n log. So you notice how the n fall back. Do all that up in the sky that come down using this uh, something we call the power rule. Powers, powers like like Thanos. Um, so then we done there. Now. We done there just to rearrange him up to make him look nice, and we will call that George. So log y equal, and the n in the nice spot because the n in this case is actually the gradient. So we put n log x plus log a. No, no, this how log a is. You see now, this is a c plus x this is log x represent the x log y represent your y and and the m is the n is the m right no they could they could have this they could have this under any letter like last year they had t and some other letter i can't remember t i did the solution i did the solution for last year's paper so you could check that out some t instead of x that t so some people get tired with that question and how to bring we log, I mean, the exponential form to linear form. And those in Cape and in Pure Maths could testify that this is something after a while. You just, you just catch the hang of it quickly. But for those who know that, it could be a brand new experience and be all kind of terrible and thing. But it's it's fun, man. It's fun. It's fun. Okay. So how the graph will look now if I draw a graph? Bam. The gradient. Now notice in this graph, we have log y against log x, right? In the first graph, in the first case, we had log y against x. But in this case, you have log y against log x. And let me take off that blue because that looking ridiculous. And the gradient now, so like if I get two points and I get my little x1, y1, and I use the graph and get two points and gradient is um, y2 minus y1, blah, 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 blah over x2 minus x1, um, the gradient here, the gradient here is actually going to be equal to n. So the constant n, you find that quick. So like if you ask for that constant n, boom, you just find that, bam, bam, bam. And this here is going to be log of a. There's no b in this, log of a, right? So log of a is the y-intercept. All right, time to do a question only. Let me do a question for real. So the best question for this came in 2017. Have a look at this question here. I need my calculator. I might need to draw a graph. Yuck. So hopefully I'll join graph home and thing. I'll take out the graph page right now and get ready to draw this graph with me. Join graphs, you know. It shouldn't make you say yuck like how I just say yuck. I just mimicking all the um, vibes. Yeah, yeah, but ink. That's brilliant. So if I go in Buji Bantan tomorrow, <laughs> no way, I'm going to church. <laughs> oh, well, in the evening, um, no, 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 no. I'm not going to but well done and, and, and getting out of the system. Yeah, so, um, right, so use logarithms to reduce the equation to linear form. Nobody in writing linear form yet, by. So let's see the exponential form up here, right? This is the exponential form. This is the non-linear form. And just in case you ain't seen that dead out, that's a, that's a, I don't know what the hell that is. I'm looking like a K, boy. I'm going to just write it over here. P is equal to A X to the negative K. <laughs> the pan negative sign it. I saw it up some people here. All right. Um, plug values into the equation. No, you're supp they will say using the graph. So you'll, most of the times you just use the graph, like find the gradient, use the graph, find the um, y-intercept and just read off your constants. Like at the end of this question, they're going to ask you to find the constants. Hence, estimate. So once you're estimating, you're using the graph. Right? So you find the constants. Yeah, the constant is key. So. Right, so change this into linear form. Well done, that's nice. Well done, somebody actually doing some work out here. Oh, your comment didn't pop up. Let me just show that to the people. Right, so 
log p is equal to log a minus q l but yeah correct so there's a negative sign here yes cool very good so let's do that very quickly so we add p is equal to a x minus k if we take logs and um, since the x is on the bottom here i'll just take normal logs log p what you call common logs log to the base then we normally call that common logs log of a x why my thing stop writing my muffin guy again drive a x minus k all right so uh, here i could i could squeeze in taking logs and then i'm gonna use the product rule now so this is gonna be equal to log of a plus x minus k then the next rule that i'm gonna use is the um power rule power rule and you wanna just give them a little something now a little something now people a little something tell them that you know what rule it is they're using a a log a minus k log there should be a log over here log x and uh, now when you reach this case it's best to line it up one time minus k log x um, plus log a so this is in the form in the form and you'll normally write that um, they just say put it in linear form sometimes they say put it in the form I call them express c um, <coughs> y equal m x plus c noticing that m is actually negative k this time around eh? negative k so whatever letter they put be ready for them it's be a little tricky when the letter when they don't use y and x like you notice instead of y they use p like if instead of x they use something else here like t do let her put up your head right or everything else would I just be t there and you need to keep in mind that t now is a x variable can't hear can't hear are you hearing me let me know if you're hearing me let me know if you're hearing me i can mark it one second All right. Yeah, we here, we here, we here. Hey, what just went on me? I'm to my, I'm to my green screen. I catch, catch back yourself there by green screen, my. Don't expose you like that. Turn off, turn on. Mm. What, what the hell, man? All right. So yeah, we looking forward to Monday. Once again, Monday, on Monday, hmm, but now look at this up here. On Monday, we're going to do a full crash course on everything in AdMats, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But to be in the, to be in the, <laughs> to be in the crash course, you need to be um registered now. I'm not going to have it public, the link going to be a private link. So if you're not registered, if you didn't message the number, um, 7271325 or 8666, how do we pay you? Most people pay into bank transfer or some people in general are meeting me. That's the easiest way to do it, right? But just messaging a manual will call something. And if you can't pay me 200 straight away, Alika John. Alika, if you're on Instagram, message me when you're on message me later, right? So I'll add you. If you're not getting through to the numbers. If you're not getting through to the numbers, you can message me on Instagram. My, I, I respond to my mails too, but I respond on a slower basis. And I respond to Facebook on a real slow basis. So some people are messaging me on Facebook. Every three, four days is when I check my Facebook inbox. Anyway, why well, are shining so much, right? Um, are you ready to go on, right? We're ready to go on in this question. We, 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 we're wasting time here. Let's go forward. Um, using a suitable scale... 
plot the best fit line of the equation da, 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 da. right so this is give people a little trouble you know why because you see they be using these kind of numbers but some real disgusting numbers here like 93.8 and them kind of thing no beat up no beat up no beat up at all remember just remember what is like your x and what is like your y your p is like your y so we, we're looking at values between let's say 125 that is your highest value and 90 so you just see you just divide up your graph accordingly now so between 90 to what well, 25 is actually 35 so you see where's the best way you can get 35 to fit on the y-axis and so i'm trying to say and the the x the x going from and you, sometimes you need to watch this like the first two numbers really <sighs> when you're going from uh, you go, well basically you're going from 0 to 10 0 to 10 so the x kind of easy you just do 0 to 10 but definitely on the y you will end up breaking you will end up with a break um so you understand what i mean um how is the new page again like that so my page sideways right so you have to be kind of crappy way right? earlier boy i should have prepared this graphics so i would not waste time drawing this graph here. but anyhow Sit back and watch me draw a graph with my finger. <sighs> now your graph will come out much different in the exam because you see I lost my green screen and now this crap happening. Let's see if I can just turn back on this filter. Blue, what is that? Blue similarity is a problem. Done. Alright, we ain't gonna get it. Alright, so, um, I don't do admats, but I will watch, add me to the group chat. Yes, uh, I'll get your message me afterwards, not this year. Okay, so you ready to do this graph earlier? You're looking at values between 90 and 125. So let me see. Uh, oh, so this graph will have a break. So I'll just show you the break here, but obviously, you will um, have a cleaner break than this, right? And I'll put this as 90 and 100. 110, 120, 130, 90, 100, 110, 120, 110, 120. Oh boy, so what, what going on here is I can't make little divisions. I don't, I don't even know how to do that. That's what, that's what I'm really telling myself here. 100, 110, Try and behave now, now. 120. How much is that going up to? 125. Yes, yeah, so I I not get in. I really not get it. 130. Alright, nobody care about that. So now we're going on the next one. We're going from 0 to 10. We'll put a random line there. So put 0. Put my 10 somewhere about here. So looking good. I can see that. 10. Enters log P. My brakes always clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make an every make sure we make sure no comment. Ten <laughs> five in the middle. Day. Um one, two, three, four. Mm. Yeah, yeah can't be a perfectionist when you join it your finger and I can't get yeah, away. Right, five. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure I count in properly. 5 to 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 6 look like you got a little biggie day, but what are we going to do, boy? What are we going to do? And while I'm saying 0 to, yeah, so, yeah, so, that looking good, that looking good. Oh, yeah, that looking beautiful. Just see beauty there now, please. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now, we're ready to plot some points now. My point's going to be some real average. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, people, like the video. So I know some people will invariably come on later. They'll miss the whole functions in AdMats. If it's functions in AdMats, tune into the crash course. Message the number and get organized. Lovely graph. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. All right. So um, this graph, you have to make sure and plot everything nice and good, right? Um, don't lose marks. You're doing that much, right? So you shouldn't be losing marks. Put them little white lines on my graph. How about, right? 
What is that? Easy. Right, yeah, come on. Well, I, I alone has probably seen that. Let me put this thing fast because I want to do the thing. 1.5, 1, 1, 2, 1.5. 1.58. You feel I study now five hit all you want to study that five so label your axes. Alright, alright, boss and I label it in the end now. But let me label it now. Alright, so can you do a probability video? All of that coming next week. It, it, it looking fresh out the box. Yeah. 1.58, 121. 1.58, 121. So I'm gonna to get some of the best this are the best this points here. 1.58, 121, boom. Mm -hmm. I feel in that. I don't know about earlier, but I'm looking good. 2.5, 110, 2.5, 110.6, 2.5, 110.6, mm -hmm. boom. A little forward, but we can take it. Um, 3.98, 106. This is supposed to form a straight line, eh? so let me hope. Oh, sorry. I can't believe I just do this. I cannot believe I just <coughs> plot the wrong graph. All right. So I need to plot the graph of log of x and log of p. Why somebody didn't tell me that? Wait, now somebody up there was telling me that. And it's log p. Jeez, log p and log x. Yeah, I need to take log. Anybody have a calculator written? I'm a calculator here. This is failure. So that whole graph that I take my time and do. Don't do this, people. Jeez, boy. Eh. So right. Um, so what I have to do now is copy this table. Which I don't even know how I'm going to do. Copy this table and put it on a new slide. And take logs. Alright, so this is going to take a little three minutes to do. Um, done. Save to photos. Peace. Over here. This is failure by Waste. So, y'all. What you need to do when you find your linear form when you find your linear form is get your log of x and your log of p. Like a good like a good human being. Yeah, don't worry, you're late. Somebody was waiting till I realized. Only wait until I realize I oh jeez man. Anyhow. Probably it's best I make this mistake now. Then somebody would remember that in the exam and not do it. Alright. Sheesh. So, and I think I do a video on this question already, and I, and I did a video on last year question as well. And then I do a video on all the other logs question. All right. So, uh, no, no bad, no bad man. I don't, I don't feel my heart, man. See, man. All right. So, <laughs> love. So, we call this with me and make sure you get any correct values as well. Log of 1.58. And since they use three significant figures, you'll repeat back to three significant figures. 0 0.199 Jeez, so this graph gonna be even more ridiculous 2.51 Somebody have the values there already? Don't see that No, 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 I don't want them values, I don't want them values Let them values be three significant fi figures now um, Keyboard smash and Brad Inc. and whatever. This is 2017. Earlier, we back out them values and give, uh, we call, look, we call the log P values. I just speed up on this one. 0 0.3. Alright, this one is 0 0.4. 0, 0. This one is 0 0.6. 0, 0. Some of them actually just wrong enough. They choose some, they choose some spiffy values here. So 0 0.7, 1. Mm -hmm. Log p values. Somebody hit me the log p values there. 
Alright, two one point nine keyboard smash all them values to three sig three significant figures, right? Alright, so there you go. Um two point zero. Are well, you getting two different values? Somebody have different values for log P. Somebody wrong enough wrong there. Let me just record the first one because there are different things for that one. So log one two one point five. Now that is going to make a big difference. All right, keyboard smash. You're doing your thing good. So I'm taking your values. Two point zero eight. Two point zero four. Two point zero three. Two point zero zero. I'm guessing. And one point nine. Let me just check it. Two point zero zero now. Log of 99.1, yeah, because I ran close to 100. So, yeah, correct. All right, people, new graph now. <laughs> so, all right, so now you see the values this graph going to. So, this looking like about, um, <laughs> 0 <coughs> to 1. This graph going from 0 to 1. So, you know what you need to do there? And this one looking like, um, well, you could think of it as 190 to 208, right? But it's really 1.9 to 208. Excuse me. So that's 18, 18 values. Which one is the Y? Which one is the X? This one is on the Y. This one is on the Y. This one is on the X. Yes, Shania, you're real it. All right. Don't worry. I had make a big mistake there. That was kind of embarrassing. But. So, um, I, I, so remember this. Do not plot these. Do not try to plot these. You're always plotting your log X and your log P values. Or probably I just make that mistake there so everybody will get a nice learning experience. I plan to do that ahead of time now, but. So everybody will get a beautiful learning experience and will be able to remember that, you know, you must take that. Okay, one more thing. Remember, when you have the X up in the sky like that, you would only need to take logs once. Because you will have X itself down here, so you'll just use the X values. So you would need the actual log of the X values here. That's a mistake that some people do. Yes, I was testing y'all, Rahul. I was testing y'all. Pure testing, yeah. So, um, yeah, don't do this, people. Um, let's go. Let's go and draw this graph now. So we're going from 0 to 1 on the X. And from 1.9 to 2.08 there. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. <sighs> Back. And I now draw a real beautiful graph. And, and people tell me my graph. <laughs> Looking fresh out the box and all kind of thing. And now I can even draw a straight line here. All right. So let me do the zero to one first now. Since since we touch on myself here. I right, went to do this again. One. Uh, we're using like 1.00. But so like here when you're doing your graph for you put 1.00, right? Just to show the significant figures that you use. Um 5.1 here, so that's 0 0.5, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Who playing basketball tonight, boy? Um, to play off starting, supporting my goal and state warriors, and 0 0.6 would come here, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Yeah, we're doing the 2018 tonight. Well, I'm looking over the 2018 paper. Logs there, not the whole paper. If you look over the whole paper, we finish 2 o'clock. Um, that, that, what are we doing? What are we doing now? I want to go up to 18. I want to go up to 18. So, like, I'll make this 18. I'll make this 9. This graph break up again. Yeah, so this graph starts in 190. So, he, he break up, he break up. So what you want to do is make a little break here in your graph. And like this is your um, 0 0.90. Was it 0 0.90? It's 1.90. Okay, my bad. 1.90. 1.90. 1.90. 1.90. 1.90. 1.90. 1.90. 
And then, uh, up top, you're going to make a little 2.08. And, hmm, in between here, well, the, the, way, the proper way to do this is to see how much divisions you have and divide it by how much you want to get now. So, now you say the spaces, now you say you had 36 spaces and we want to get 18, 18 to fit in it. I mean, every two will, will be one space, but I'm just judging this by my eye right now. Yeah, boy, Curry that shot, boy, oh my gosh, they put in, they, they, they're bringing it back from uh, them, them clippers, them. Um... Oh, what are trying to do here? Okay, so there's 1.99. About here, so. Yeah. This thing now, that'd be the best thing in the whole world. 1.99. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, that was a failure there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Only pretend that was just perfect there, right? Mm, two. Mm, mm. Right. So we have the correct divisions there. I don't need you anymore. One point nine. I'll put one every other one. One point nine two. One point nine four. 1.96 I try to just miss out this whole thing See I had to keep zooming up to it to write properly and then I zoom up I lost it where I am 1 1.92 1.94 1.96 1.98 2.00 we have be done all along. 2.02, 2.04, 2.05, 2.06, 2.07, 2.08, 2.09, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.
Welcome to all the Bajan people. I realize he doesn't know much Bajan people compared to Trinidad, Guyana, and Jamaica. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Like Bajan going against ever since all year attacking with flying fish. <laughs> all right, 2.0, 2.04. 2.04 Alright, did that one 2.030 0.6 What's going on this graph? Well, this graph is operating too nice uh, I don't like what I see going on here in the graph Try and be here yourself eh? We really get 1.9 for for, for, for 10, right? 1.9 for 1. Um, 1.9. So we have that there. 2. This is 2.9. I just stick down this man thing and this is making sense. Love of night. Somebody here lead me down the wrong way. Oh, we had a bad reading. We had a bad reading, people. So ignore that. Ignore that. 1.97. So, yeah. So this is supposed to be 2. Nice. Hey, hey, I'll let's set him up here, man. So, this graph supposed to look way better than this because this was at 2 and this was at 2 as well. So, in other words, this part of the graph, I would not have, I didn't need to put. Yeah, so you all got 1.97, but somebody said 1.9 just now, and I just write the T. So, my graph would have been sp spaced out a little more. Should I do over this graph? Let me vote now. Should I do over the um, y axis on this graph? Y for yes, n for no. Because you see, I have to read off some points on this graph now. Yeah, yeah. So this graph cursing. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no. Yes, yes, no, no, yes. One, two, three, four. Four yes, four no. The next one I'm going and do. And no one here is coming and no. Yes. Earlier, we had to learn to grind. We had to learn to grind. So we could do over the graph. We had to learn how to grind. We not to do we not to do much. We not to do much. I just need to press this button and everything disappear. This graph like it really cursed, but we suck. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see this value here? Somebody, right, but what happened? So, what is this? What are you really, what are you really telling all yourself, then telling me, right? People trying to kill me out here with this graph, right? 1.97. I had to check over these values that I was given. Who gave me them values? Call names now. Sure. Um, 1.97. This, this one is 1.99, so this one turned out to be 2. That's correct. This one is correct. I'm going to just check over this value. Next thing I had to draw over. Next thing if I don't check over this value. Correct here. All right, so it was 1.97. Maybe the man writes 7 and I didn't see it. Maybe he writes 7 and I didn't see it. This, this, this video was supposed to last an hour and it might last an hour and a half. Thank you, my friends. All right, so 1.97. What mistakes happen? So, yeah, zero here. Oh, first you find your limits. Yeah, how, how we doing this? So this graph really going eight, eight and the y then, eight and the y, which is much easier to see. And this is kind of what I remember when I do this graph. Too. So, um, this ring in a, this ring in a better bell. It really going eight plus three thirteen. Make it fourteen. So, um, I'm trying a different color. A different color might mean better luck. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm starting on 1.97. Keep in mind that this graph had a break here. Um, 1.97. 1.98 I'm not going to write all of that right now we need to know if this graph have an excuse waiting on me here so let me just start writing so 2.06 1.982 and 2.08 ah, it's really, really so that looking beautiful all you find that looking I'd not trying to kill me I ain't no snitch but keyboard smash <laughs> keyboard smash was the man with me the wrong thing alright that's nice sir uh, you does do lessons yes I do lessons um, all you researching things up nice 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 well tops the graph looking tops we again so the x-axis was in our order, right? 0 to 1. Yeah, I think I get the value. So the x-axis must have. So anything happening in the x-axis, blame me. So you put one like about, where well, are looking on the screen there. And uh, all you realize that x-axis kind of not so horizontal. But if you feel like we're going to do this over again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, Five. All right then, so we writing it in red. That what we do now. So we call that one. We call that zero point five. I keep drawing these lines here. Zero point five. Zero point one. Zero point two. Zero point three. Zero point four. Zero point five. Zero point six. Zero point seven. Zero point eight. Zero point nine. One point zero zero. Beautiful, fresh out of the box, right? So everybody, everybody cool with this graph. Blame say if anything happens with the x-axis. Yes, blame me, blame me. Alright, so let me see now. Hmm. Lord, please let these points come out into a straight line. Join me in join me in prayer for this for this graph. Look what happened here. Hmm. So. Filters. Come back on a little bit, but again, we're getting too out of hand. Yes, 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 yes. Done. Right. We in prayer and, and we come together and we believe that this graph is going to, you know, be straight. This graph getting problems to be straight. And Boju coming tomorrow and this graph getting problems to be straight. It's 1.1, 0. 0.1. Um, so that's like 2 on 2.08, right? So boom. So yeah, how much times I plot this point? They did third time. <laughs> 2 .0, 0 0.4 and 2.0. 0.0 and 2.0. Hmm. looks suspicious already. Hmm. Let me just plot this point in a different color. Just for, there we go green now. Right? Just, just, you know, squeeze out. Squeeze out that, that color. 0 0.4, 0 0.4. X1, 0 0.6, 2.03. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this graph did this. 0 point, 0 0.82. This graph did do something stupid like that, if I remember correctly. And um, one, 1.97, 1.97. Yes, man. Thanks for the prayers. We did it. We did it. We did it. All right. So don't forget your label access and scale. Of course, I would never forget that. All right. So we come in here and we join our line of best fit. So I want to talk some things about this line of best fit. Like this, that is an okay line of best fit because you get some points on the graph, three, and you get a point this way, equal equal distance apart from each other. That's okay. But usually, usually, 
the first and last point does kind of line up kind of kind of this is a bad line of best fit here why because you only have points on this side of the graph so it didn't really fit in nice now it means the graph and really representing what really going on there so the first line i draw is probably the best line for my graph now my graph is tremendously out of scale and whew, that sounds like some kind of rat or something yes so so what you need to remember with these graphs so we see some problems that could run into these graphs do not plot the values given you need to find the log of the p and the log of the x most of the times do not get out of hand with your scale and use the wrong values when you're typing your calculator and always watch out for that remember that this graph is a straight line so if you start to get points going so and coming up and thing failure failure graph is a straight line the last thing to watch out for with this graph is that it needs to cut the y-axis like this because you, you need to extrapolate the graph and get the y y value because you're going to use that y value to um, work out your, your constant now. so why you don't want to be straight now? yeah so you see this value here that's our that's our that's our log a you see what i'm circling there that's our log a value so this is actually log a right 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 please log of a and to find the gradient if you find the gradient you'll be able to find the next the next guy what's the next constant no this wasn't it that's the question question is over here negative k negative k is the gradient now you see that negative sign that grab it and show people but m is equal to negative k the gradient of that line is equal to negative k so the next part of the question is going to ask us to find the constants um we did this after 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 10 hours we did that hence estimate the value estimate the constants a and k so let's let me show you how you'll do this because this part it didn't make sense going through all the pain and torture and losing the the that's 2018 you just get a glimpse of there losing the i think it was two marks two marks the two three marks here or it could be an extra marks so what you need to do is estimate what log of a is going to be so log of a looking like a two point what if you are looking like boy 2.09 plus a little change 2.095 2.095 this <laughs> yeah we still on this question so log of a is equal to 2.095 Although I feel in the graph it might it might 2.096. I feel in the in when you draw the graph properly to scale, it might actually be it may actually be a little higher. I don't know. I don't know. You need to check it out. So now this is what you write. A is equal to 10 to the power of 2.095 because you use log to the base 10. So now you take your calculator like this, boom, and you press shift or second function. To bring up the 10 I can't see what I'm doing there but it next it on the log button right so shift on that and then you type in 2.095 and while you get it is actually one two four point five everybody get out I don't see no answers by right? I'll have a little calculator one two four point five and let's just see if there's any units no there's no units there's no units so it's one two four point five like if they told you what it was measuring or whatever like number of organisms or some kind of things so or whatever the constant units is they would have you would have put that in but you don't know 
um, m. Well, you need to actually work out m by using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let me just pick some random points on this, this painful graph here. Now, you can't use this point. Eh? Next thing to note, you can't use points that were off the graph. Casio calculators not allowed in CXC. I never hear that. I know people who use Casio calculators in CXC. I know many people who use the same exact same calculator in CXC. So I don't know if CXC see my last video on this and decide they will ban this. But the thing is, a lot of the sharp calculators can do all this stuff in on this as well. So, yeah. Yeah. So it makes no sense banning this because this, although this makes your life very easy, you still need to actually know how to do these things to get your marks, right? So if we're not, the CX is not testing you on your calculator strength, really. It's testing you on your brain strength. Calculator just helps make the work a little easier. So what you'll do is look for a sweet spot now. A sweet spot on your graph. So, um, that is not a sweet spot. Um, let me say one of the points was 0 0.1 <coughs> and I'll let you work this out for me, right? 0 0.1 you need to use a point that actually lies on your line so that's the first point right here so and let me say our next we are to use points and you also need to use points that far away Sharp versus Casio War. Casio Wars in my class. The Sharp is nice, but like, I mean, I haven't seen the high end version to the Sharp. And the, this is the one of the better versions for the Casio, and it's just sweet and it's available now. And I, I last video I do on calculators, you'll be able to find out how to get this in Trinidad. This calculator can differentiate, it can integrate, it can fall along and not mash up, it can do matrices, it can do vectors, it can do complex numbers for those in pure maths battery nice solar solar as well is our best calculator is our best calculator just look at the last video i do on calculators maybe about two three videos ago um earlier we trying to see like a point here so we could go home well i'll go home but you know what i mean now, man 0 0.9 1.98 let me just pretend that is a point yes 0 0.9 obviously i'll use your grid lines to make sure your point on point, 1.98. We pretend that is our next point right here. So, so using those two points, we got the gradient for me very quickly. And watch now, don't give me no, don't give me no wrong answers this time, please. Enough of this question. Enough of this damn question. All right, so 1.98. Oh, it have one more trick I need to show you already. This question, 2.08. Minus 1, 0 0.1. So, what do I get there? What do I get for the gradient? Negative 0 0.425. You get negative 8. Alright, you retract the mas message. Message retracted. That's a, that's a bad sign there. So, most people get negative 1 8. So, Okay, all right, Chennai. Negative one eight, negative one eight. We can live with that. Negative. Um, anybody who draw the graph for real, for real, and have the accurate, accurate value. All right. So negative one eight. Now this here is not the value of k. If you all got negative one eight, which you should get, this is not k. This is not equal to k. Cause remember, this is equal to m, the gradient. But k is e negative k is equal to m, so k is equal to negative m, so k is actually equal to 1 8. Well, my head kind of in the way there, boy. Oh, yes, Lord. Where has space, boy? Where has space? All here, k is equal to 1 8, right? Because all you hear what I had to say already, right? So cool. Yeah, but that's the, mis that's the next mistake in this question. Because people see negative key and the answer the negative sign, it was like good, we done.
But that was the gradient, so yeah, that actually include that again. Question done. Woo -sa! How much? One hour. Plus the theory we do before. So I think anybody who watches video will know all the problems you can run through in this question. I'll leave in this video up because anybody who watches video will see all the problems you can have in this question. They'll see all the things they need to look out for. Um, and they will see an exact way how to do the question to get all the marks. We'll just take a look at one more. Kill me. I am starting Monday. This is just a freebie. This is for anybody. This is for anybody. I'm leaving this up. This, but remember, remember, the um the live starts Monday, and when the live starts, everybody who's in the live group will get a notification. So if you're not in the live group, if you're not ready for Monday, if you're not registered for Monday for that crash course where you go through everything, organize yourself. You want to call this number right now? Actually, don't call it. Text the number. Um, 727-1325. And if you're not living in Trinidad, by 868 before that, because, you know, um, country code and whatever now. So, organize yourself, WhatsApp that number, and get ready for the Monday. Monday, we're going through everything. So, Monday, we started off, obviously, with logs and indices and quadratics and alpha and beta. And it will be an exciting session because it will be interactive just like this. We'll be able to talk, see mistakes. And I like to teach by not... I mean, I'll prepare, like, the skeleton, like, I'll prepare for this. But I like to investigate the questions with the students. That brings out more knowledge for you all and more understanding. All right, so, and it makes it not boring for me. So it, every time it feels like a new time, although I would have done this a million times already. All right, so we, we did, we did everything. We did everything. Everything has been done. Let's look at 2018. 2018. Ignoring this part, and ignoring this part up here, that's from before any question, we really care about that. So, not, what I want you to look at is here. This is written here. It's actually V is equal to K, A, T. And they said K and A are the constants. So, anytime the constants on the bottom, it means this is a variable. This is like a, this is like the X. That's like the X variable there. X. And this is like the Y variable here. Y. Right? So, when the x is on top, the best log to use, and I use I use natural. I didn't even say what log I use here. So, the best log to use is natural log. So, you could have used ln because ln is good when you have indices, especially like if this is e, right? But we don't know what that is. So, but I have the answer written right there, right here. So, you press log. Yeah, you take log of both sides. You use the product um, rule, product law. Um, then you use the power law to get this T to relax his body and come down there. And then you separate him up so you have a mini form y equal mx plus c. Where m is log a and c is log k. And all they, they didn't ask you to draw a graph last year. They just asked you to, where's the gradient? In other words, where's the gradient? They didn't ask you to draw a graph. So, good night, Lisa. Um, so this was kind of fun because they just asked it to they just asked it for the gradient. Um, now if they asked it to draw a graph, we went through exactly how you should draw the graph. I think everybody in AdMath should be good by now in at least drawing your skills and everything. Even though we had a little hiccup with this question, we should be good there. So any other questions on logs? Now this is not all of logs. This is the hard part in logs. There's some. Other parts, parts in logs, you can just search Kerwin Springer logs, and I did it already. And you could learn that learn that off. And I mean, you'll be ready for that part of the question. That part will be free marks, man. Your logs will be on a gear, in a gear. You yeah, just had them six, six marks to collect. Any questions? So... All who in the Monday live, let me see if everybody here in the Monday live, in the Monday crash course. If in the Monday crash course, say yeah, yeah. If you register already. Yeah, three whole marks. Alright. Shania is there. Yeah, yeah. Alika is there. If you're not in the Monday live, you see that number there. Start WhatsApping it. 
If any immediate response, you'll get a response soon. Anika is there. We're doing series and sequences. You know, Monday or Tuesday. Join the crash course. Yeah, by the boil corn lashing. Nice full boil corn. Anyhow, I think this was a very productive session. Yeah, Christopher. Huh? Christopher. So Monday we start in the Amac 5. I'm looking forward to that. As I said, even if you don't have the 200 dollars WhatsApp in a man will try and work around some kind of way, you'll pay me in the future. Something, something will work out something. And we'll go through the whole I'll be doing a lot of past papers during the crash course. So you organize yourself. Yeah, you can watch this over. This was a, I actually think this was a very nice video. Even though we had the we had we had that poisonous graph to deal with. Um alright people, pull it on. Don't forget to um, WhatsApp me number if you're in, in the live. Here we crash course. Uh, 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 I don't do business.